hello friends welcome to this channel today i'm going to show you how to convert daily data into monthly as well as annual data so if you are new for this channel please subscribe it let's get started this one is the data okay yeah, it's one of the data. It started from 1985 up to 2021. Yeah? 2021. This is the data of around 35 years. Yeah? Now, yeah. therefore, the data is in the, the data is in the form of daily. Okay. So I'm daily, monthly, as well as annual. So therefore, the data is really for data. So to start. Control A, then go to the end. This one is the function. Pivot table, click on it. Therefore, this one is a selected one, and you can compute this uh, computation in new worksheet or in existing worksheet. Let's compute it, let compute it in the uh, new worksheet. Click OK. Yeah, this one. So we, we drag and drop the year under the rows, the month under the columns, as well as the rainfall under the values. Okay, any it can be any any variable. It can be temperature or it can be any variable. Okay. Therefore, click click on the year and drag and drop under the row. Click on the month and drop under the columns. Here, here is the rainfall, which we have to uh, click on it and drop under the values, okay? This one is, it says sum, okay? If we want to change this one, we can click on field, value field setting, then, can you can you can you can calculate the average the maximum the maximum the minimum okay for the time being since it's rainfall you have to sum it so this is the year it starts from 1985 up to uh, 2021 so this one is the first one in the month first month so that means January this one is the 30 months, uh, I mean, December. Therefore, this one is annual, annual, annual data. Annual, this one is annual. Therefore, since it is rainfall, the annual rainfall is the sum of the 12 months from January up to December. Therefore, this one is the sum. So, in this way, we can easily convert the daily data into monthly as well as annual data. If we try to uh, compose this manually, it is so tedious. Therefore, you can compute, comp compute it in less than a minute, in less than a minute, by using this function. Okay? I think it helps you. If you like the video, please subscribe it. Thank you for watching.